What is up, world? Welcome back to another episode of Clark Crew Reviews. It's your boy, Donovan. So, you know, today was a good-ass day. You know why? Because I went out, you know, I did some stuff on my business, got some things accomplished. I get an update, notification, whatever the hell you want to call it on my smartphone, that the Snyder Cut is coming out. So all the rumors are true. It's coming to HBO Max. Uh, he always had his cut, so all the naysayers that said it didn't exist can kiss all of Zack Snyder's whole ass. And everybody that supported him through this movement. Now, me personally, I was not a fanatic about it. You know, I hoped to see it. I always wanted to see it. I didn't think I'd ever get to see it because you know how Hollywood and movie studios be. You know, they're a business and they want to move on. But we about to see the Snyder Cut, my nigga! So, according to the Hollywood Reporter, right, the tagline, it's kind of a long article, I don't know if I want to read it all, but I'm going to probably try to skim through some of it, and I'll cut that part out of my video so I don't waste your time. But, the tagline is, it will be an entirely new thing. Zack Snyder's 20 million plus justly cut plans revealed. HBO Max will debut the project in 2021, possibly in a four hour director's cut. <laughs> Four hours, I'll be watching every second of it. Eat my popcorn, cuz. Caramel core. Or in a six TV style chapters. Whatever, nigga. Just give it to me. As the Helmer gets the game back together with the original post production crew to score, cut, and finish visual effects. The article continues to say. It was very early on a Monday morning, November, when the director Zack Snyder's wife and producing partner Deborah Snyder received a call from their agent. Let's be a bit more precise. It was 7 a.m. But more importantly, it was the day after the second anniversary of the release of Justice League, the DC superhero movie that Snyder was forced to exit due to a family emergency. <laughs> Excuse me. It was substantially reshot and retooled by replacement director Josh Whedon. They fired the nigga. Let's keep it honest, right? In the time since its release, something unusual happened. A growing movement of fans, rallied by the hashtag release of Snyder Cut, had called, agitated, petitioned, even bought Times Square billboard and catered, chartered a plane to fly a banner over Comic Con for Snyder's version to be released. Like, who's put money into this? These niggas really like pulling their money to do this? And on the film's second anniversary, the hashtag had its biggest day ever, with even the movie stars Gal Gadot and Ben Affleck adding their voices to Twitter. I remember that. So here, the morning after was their agent saying that Tommy Emmerich, chairman of Warner Brothers Pictures, was acknowledging the movement and more importantly was willing to accede. This is real. People out here want it. Would you guys ever consider doing something? Was what Emmerich was asking Zack Snyder recalls. Say no more. Say less. The answer to Emmerich's question, a whispered about secret for months, was revealed Wednesday when Zack Snyder confirmed at the end of an online screening of the 2013 movie Man of Steel that his version of Justice League was indeed real and that it would be coming to HBO Max, the Warner Media digital streaming service, launching May 27th and expected to debut 2021. It's going to be like November 2021. It's going to feel like the longest year and a half ever damn bruh when they gonna really they gonna release a trailer for it what's sex not a cut that might be the most watched trailer ever it is currently unclear what form justice league snyder's justice league snyder's justice league will take whether it'll be released in an almost four hour director's cut please do that or split into six chapters has yet to be decided but the Snyders are now in the midst of reassembling much of their original post-production crew to score, cut, and add new and finish old visual effects. And yes, maybe bring back many actors to record additional dialogue. Oh, they gonna come back? <laughs> That's dope. Also, unclear is the cost of the endeavor. One source has pegged an effort at 20 million range, although another source says the figure could be close to 30. The parties involved had no comment. It would be an entirely new thing, and especially talking to those who have seen the, re seen the release movie, a new experience apart from that movie, Zach, Zach, Zach Snyder tells The Hollywood Reporter. 
noting that to this day, he has not watched the version released in theaters. He said it would be an entirely new thing. Damn. I mean, if it's four hours, <laughs> you get all kinds of stuff. Because the one in the theaters was like right under two. Damn, that's double. You probably saw one fourth of what I did. <laughs> Don't play with me, Zach. Don't play with me, Zach. The director notes, basing his judgment on what has been shared with him of Whedon's version. Don't play with me, Zach. Don't play. Before Emmerich came calling Snyder ads, I was always, I always thought it was the right thing that in 20 years maybe somebody would do a documentary or I could lend them some footage, little snippets of a cut no one else has ever seen. But, as Deborah Snyder, with a new platform and streaming service, you can have something like this. You can't release something like this theatrically, but you could with a streaming service, which has been speculated for forever. It's an opportunity that wasn't there two years ago, to be honest. Snyder was in a unique position when he when he shot Just League in 2016. Warner Brothers had entrusted its universe of DC characters to one filmmaker, him, and he had been building toward a great altering team up, though not without some bumps on the road. He began with Man of Steel, which grossed 668 million, then Batman vs Superman, the 2016 blockbuster that polarized fans with stark take on an iconic titular heroes. It took 873 million. Listen, the more I watch Batman vs Superman, the more I love that movie. When I first watched it, I was disappointed because I was geeked about it for years, and then I just kind of did it to myself. But after seeing it many times, I love that movie. I just wish there's certain questions I have and certain things I wish happened, but I like it more and more. Meanwhile, release the Snyder Cut became a more organized and visible, gaining mainstream media attention. Zack Snyder fed into the movement by occasionally teasing images from his movie or storyboard of social media in some ways only stoking the hot embers and he saw some of the seeds he planted in his movies, especially his casting of Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman and Momoa as Aquaman grew into Gorons as spin-offs and became pop culture phenomenon and billion dollar hits. It was the two year anniversary however that the Zenith hit and the hashtag became a top worldwide trend. I remember when it was trending, I retweeted the shit myself. Release the Snyder Cut is the most tweeted hashtag about a movie that WWB has ever made. But it's a movie that's never, they've never released, says Snyder. It's a weird, but it's still cool. After the Saturday morning phone call, the Snyders began to move puzzle pieces into place. We had to figure out what it meant to finish it and how to pull it off, recalls Deborah. The Snyders put together a presentation and in early February invited a select group of executives from Warner Brothers, HBO Max, and DC to their house in Pasadena to screen Zack's little scene version that was shown in black and white. The number of executives in the room, there were more than a dozen in audience ranging from Emmerich, uh, they named a whole bunch of people, they had Jim Lee there, showed the importance of the potentially extensive undertaking. At his presentation, after the screening, Z Snyder outlined ideas for not just releasing the cut, but the concept of episodes and cliffhangers. So he's going to put cliffhangers between, like cut it into six parts and make cliffhangers like that, like from episode to episode. I got you. Then, Snyder also spent April and May reaching out to sizable cast, even heads up the development, and letting them know their service may be needed. The, the first person called... Ray Fisher. He was like, you're kidding me, right? Zach recalls. Hey, get that man some shine. So while the cut will contain the many elements Zach has teased over time, yes, expect dark side. The duo also relish adding a fair amount of character development. What's so lovely about this is that we can get to explore these characters in ways that you're not able to in the shorter theatrical version. Man! Snyders know that fan power is what held the Snyder Cut become a reality. Clearly, this wouldn't be happening without them. He also credits Warners for living up to his old reputation as a filmmaker studio. Add Zach, this return to pedigree and to let my singular vision of my movie be realized in this format and this length is unprecedented and a brave move. Hey, man, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get that Snyder Cut. Hey, listen. 
2020 has been shitty. Let's hurry up and get to 2021. I don't want to age any faster, but this year has been crap for all of us. And the Snyder Cut is the light, the bright light at the end of a dark tunnel. Oh man, you're gonna have Dark Side. You're gonna show Martian Manhunter. You're gonna show Green Lantern. Scary Cow's face won't be all messed up. Get dark. Did I already say Dark Side. It's gonna be a dark. I like the look. Like, I don't care nobody's. I like the darker, more adult-centric superhero movies. But man, I can't wait for this. I cannot wait for this. Listen, if you're a true fan of CBM movies, comic book movies, comics in general, DC, and you like the previous movies, if you ain't hyped for this, then. I don't know what to tell you. You're missing out and you a punk. You're just a straight punk. You gotta be stoked that it's real, it's happening, so all the naysayers can shut the hell up. I'm excited, y'all. Listen, let me know how excited you are in the comment section down below while you're here. Like, share, and subscribe to your boy's channel. If I get a notification that you subscribe to me, I'll subscribe to you. Until next time, y'all take it easy. Game recognized game. Peace.